view. Okay. And uh, I will upload the, the video after this lecture. Okay. Okay, now let's start. Uh, so today our the name of our lecture is uh, is Internet and Search Engines. Uh, so first, what is uh, internet? Uh, as we talked about in our last lecture, uh, the internet um, is the technology that scientists invented for uh, 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 people to use all over the world. So we can uh, uh, watch news, videos, uh, we can do shopping, uh, and send and receive emails. Uh, to uh, people in the other place uh, uh, in the world. So uh, no matter how far we are from each other, uh, we can communicate through uh, internet. Uh, so internet is, is, is kind of uh, 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 a network uh, to transfer message, messages, information, uh, so, uh, so it's a com combination of uh, uh, like hardware and software. Okay, so the hardware means we need to we need the wires and uh, uh, devices to connect different computers uh, on the uh, in the world, uh, and the software means uh, we need to install some uh, functions and programs on the internet. Uh, for us uh, to help us to to use the uh, the apps or the uh, uh, for example uh, to access the websites to watch uh, videos or watch uh, uh, news on some web page. So that web page is a kind of uh, software. Okay. So internet, uh, we can uh, see it as the most important uh, application in uh, computer science. So today we are going to uh, learn about some uh, uh, the, uh, some uh, fundamental uh, things about internet, and also I will introduce uh, how to search useful information on internet. Uh, so I think um, uh, nowadays everyone knows how to use uh, search engines. So we will uh, look at, uh, we will go deeper to see how search engines work uh, and uh, uh, and how to uh, 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 how to use a, a search engine in a, you know you how to use advanced uh, search tools in a search engine. Okay, now let's uh, okay first let's look at a, a brief history, a summary of the. Uh, of the history of uh, World Wide Web. So World Wide Web is like the name of the uh, uh, of the software on the internet. So World Wide Web means that we can use this uh, web to uh, install our uh, softwares or we can save our web page on this uh, uh, World Wide Web, and the people can access it uh, via their uh, computer if their computer is connected to the the internet. So you can see World Wide Web as uh, uh, the the name of the of the uh, the entire uh, uh, software part of internet. Okay. Uh, so we can, let's look at the, this uh, timeline. So in 1965, the first uh, ever WAN uh, stand for Wide Area Network is established. So uh, so Wide Area Network means this network uh, uh, is used in a, in, a, in a wide area. Okay, so like a country or a uh, a region, uh, so uh, so this kind of network is called uh, WAN, WAN, so wide area network. Uh, uh, in 
69, the first uh, internet message is sent. Uh, so uh, the first message is edited on the computer and is sent through the network. So, so in 1969, the first message is sent. Uh, between 1970 and 1976, uh, uh, scientists invented a uh, line, so LAN, uh, also known as local area and network. So local means uh, this network, uh, uh, this network is kind of uh, small. So it only covers a small uh, uh, area, uh, such as campus or uh, city, or a small uh, neighborhood. Okay, so this kind of all, all your uh, the network in your uh, uh, in a classroom or in your uh, apartment. Okay, so this kind of network is uh, is called a uh, line. So uh, the local area network. Uh, in 1983, uh, the domain name system is born. So domain name system is uh, is uh, the the method that uh, how we name the websites. Okay, so we know that uh, for Google, the name of the, of its website is www. So www means uh, World Wide Web. So most of the websites uh, have this uh, uh, start uh, in the domain name. Uh, so domain name is uh, uh, like the address we, we need to know to find one uh, specific website. Okay, so, uh, so most of the uh, website domain names start with www uh, except, uh, for, uh, for Google. So, uh, the domain name is www.google.com, so C-O-M at last. So this name is called a uh, domain name. A domain name system, uh, we will uh, talk about it uh, later. So it's kind of a, a hierarchy system. Okay, so from the uh, larger to smaller, uh, 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 like areas uh, or uh, industries, so you can separate different domain names. For example, the last name for Google, the last name COM means uh, commercial. So that means this website is a commercial website. Okay, it's owned by a company. Uh, for our uh, uh, CUNY website or uh, uh, you know, a website of uh, a, univer a university, the end of the domain name uh, uh, should be edu, means uh, education. So edu uh, means, uh, for example, the CUNY website, the homepage, uh, the domain name of CUNY homepage will be uh, is uh, www.cuny.edu. Okay, so edu means education, uh, industry. Uh, Institution. So, so, uh, uh, so this uh, edu or com is the domain name that uh, describe what kind of uh, uh, institution is this uh, uh, this website belongs to. Okay. And uh, so this is how uh, we use domain name to uh, help to to name or to locate. Uh, each uh, website to help us to to find it on the uh, internet. Uh, in 1987, uh, Cisco ships is uh, first rotor. So rotor is a kind of machine that uh, can let multiple devices to connect to it. Okay, so rotor. Uh, uh, you know when you are uh, using multiple devices in your home. Uh, you need a rotor, right? You need a rotor to to have uh, different devices to connect uh, to the internet. So, so mostly the situation is uh, if you have multiple devices in your home and you want to connect uh, uh, each device to the internet, 
first you need you need a rotor to connect all the devices together and then you connect the rotor to the uh, internet okay so then your uh, so all of your devices is connect uh, are connected to the, the internet so ro rotor uh, is uh, uh, makes it much easier okay for more devices to connect to internet so uh, that's a uh, uh, very important invention. And uh, let's continue to uh, 1989. Uh, so in 1989, uh, WordSTD.com became the first commercial provider of their app access. So this is the first commercial uh, website. Uh, so, so 1989 is when the first commercial uh, website is invented and uh, 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 also it means that uh, uh, after 1989 uh, it becomes uh, more common to to uh, to to people uh, so before this time uh, the internet is only used by you know, the government or the, the, the army the military uh, so after 1989, uh, 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 citizens or uh, regular people can also access the, the internet. Okay. Uh, in 1990, uh, Tim Berners-Lee invents uh, HTML. So HTML is a programming language for websites. Okay. So uh, after Tim Berners-Lee invents HTML. Uh, People can create uh, thousands, uh, hundreds of different websites. Okay, and they are they can uh, uh, display uh, display uh, uh, messages, informations, and uh, uh, images on the internet. Uh, uh, HTML is a uh, 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 sorry I forgot what it ex exactly stands for, but uh, it's a uh, you can say it as a you know a, a kind of uh, programming language to uh, to write a, a web page, so it's kind of. Uh, Yeah, so it's kind of a uh, uh, language we use to create web pages. Okay, so it's different from so you uh, so we can uh, we can uh, regard web pages like uh, like uh, app. Okay, like app on your phone. So this app uh, we can you know on web pages we can uh, uh, look at the images or click on different links. So this website is kind of uh, software or it's kind of a, 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 a app so it also needs programs to write code for this website and the programming language or the coding language the programmer uses is called HTML okay so that's a name for the uh, language system uh, remember the language system we mentioned uh, before so it's uh, kind of a language system for the web uh, web page okay for uh, to write a web page uh, we will also introduce other uh, programming uh, language uh, like HTML so uh, uh, later uh, in this semester so now we on can only uh, uh, know that uh, HTML is invented by uh, Tim Berners-Lee uh, and we use HTML to create uh, web pages. Okay. And in 1991, uh, the World Wide uh, Web goes uh, mainstream. So that means uh, uh, World Wide Web is uh, widely used uh, in the world by uh, 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 regular people. So, uh, so more and more people are using uh, World Wide Web to 
uh, to search um, uh, information or send uh, transfer information uh, via this uh, World Wide Web. Uh, in uh, 2018, forbidding <coughs> internet users around the globe. Uh, so we can see that uh, uh, the internet is developing uh, very fast. So, uh, so the total, the, the entire history of the internet is only uh, like around uh, 60, 60 years. Okay, uh, less than 60 years. So, uh, so it's a very new invention to us. But uh, the influence or impact of the internet uh, is uh, uh, is big, and uh, so we cannot imagine a world without internet right now. So, uh, like every moment, we are using uh, internet. So, uh, uh, so right now we are using uh, internet, right? So we are using, uh, we are giving this lecture uh, via internet. So, uh, so internet uh, is, uh, uh, you know, one of the most important uh, invention uh, uh, right now, and uh, and it's also uh, and it's uh, also developing uh, right now. So. The users is uh, uh, increasing, and uh, more new technologies is invented. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, we can access the internet uh, via smartphones. So before, let me see, uh, like ten years ago or fifteen years ago. Uh, we can only use uh, a computer to connect to uh, internet, and uh, uh, only uh, 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 the speed, uh, the speed uh, of the uh, of uh, the the phones to access internet is very slow. But now we can, you know, watch videos, uh, watch uh, stream uh, video streams on, on our uh, smartphone. So that's a big uh, improvement. Okay, and we can imagine uh, we cannot imagine uh, where you know, internet will go in the future. Uh, so a kind of uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, more, more, uh, faster internet. Called 5G, right? The the, fi the fifth generation of uh, the uh, the internet is di uh, is uh, is discussed today, and uh, uh, many new applications and uh, apps will be invented. You know, if the uh, 5G becomes uh, common, uh, and I think. Uh, uh, you know, many new uh, industries will be invented. Okay, like uh, when the uh, mobile phone has uh, faster speed to access internet, uh, then Facebook, uh, TikTok, these apps becomes popular. So after you know, 5G becomes uh, uh, widely used. Uh, I think more new apps and more new uh, <coughs> big companies will uh, uh, will <coughs> uh, occur. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's continue to uh, uh, look at uh, World Wide Web. So, uh, World Wide Web is an information system where documents and other uh, webs resources are identified by uh, uniform resource locators. Uh, so uniform resource locators, uh, stand, uh, uh, also known as URLs, okay, so URLs uh, uh, look like this, right? So uh, HTTPS uh, comma slash slash example.com. So we can use this kind of thing to connect to 
uh, the the web page we want to access. Okay, so uh, it's kind of the address name for the website, and uh, uh, in in computer science or in the internet world, we call this address uniform resource locators. Okay, so so URL. So we know that if we want to access the internet, we the first the first thing we need to know is the URL. Uh, then we can type in the URL in our uh, 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 web browser uh, apps, for example, the uh, the Chrome or the uh, uh, the Internet Explorer, right? <clears throat> then we can access this uh, web web page. So as uh, as it stated here. Uh, www or World Wide Web is an information system. Okay, so it's a system. So it's kind of a software built on this uh, internet. It's like a document document uh, system. Okay, to organize all the uh, web pages uh, or other uh, web sources. Okay, so we use this World Wide Web to. Uh, to organize everything on internet, and so here is a uh, uh, Sir Tim Berners Lee who invented uh, 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 here is World Wide Web, but the most uh, contribution of uh, of his is uh, HTML programming language for web page. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's. Uh, continue. Uh, so, so here uh, we see that internet is available to public in mid uh, 1990s, and the internet is the biggest worldwide communication network of computers. Uh, so, so first, uh, the internet is built on a, a network. Right. This network consists of, uh, you know, wires, and, uh, receive uh, computers, servers. Uh, those this thing are, are routers. So as we mentioned, that routers uh, is kind of connector, right? It can connect uh, multiple devices. So uh, so multiple wires can connect to one router, and uh, if we have many routers, we can build a kind of uh, web uh, or network uh, to connect uh, to computers or to servers. Then the information can be transferred between uh, these two uh, computers, right? So the information can, uh, and it also can try, uh, can, I can choose different uh, route to go uh, uh, with the help of routers, okay. Uh, for example, if the information want to, uh, uh, if we need to transfer information from this computer to this server, we can go. We can follow the the green green line, okay. So the information can go from here to this router and follow the green line. But also, it can uh, go to uh, alternate uh, path. Like from uh, here, this rotor to this rotor, okay, and uh, to try to go this way. So the the rotors and this network uh, gives more choice for the uh, uh, information to to travel through. Uh, so this makes the it more. Uh, uh, Make this trans, uh, transfer uh, transfer more uh, efficient uh, because uh, you know if most of the messages go to one uh, path, then the speed will be uh, slowed down. Uh, so the rotors will have the the message to find the fastest way to go, and then each message will uh, be. Uh, uh, quickly transferred from one uh, rotor to another. Uh, 
and uh, then uh, the speed uh, of the message travel through the internet will be uh, uh, be increased. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, now we know uh, how the information uh, transferred in the uh, network. Uh, now let's look at uh, uh, the kind of uh, 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 communication model or interaction model in the internet. Okay, so the model is called uh, client and server interaction. Uh, we, we 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 talked about the you know two different uh, computers here, right? So here is the computer, and here this uh, uh, computer is different from you know the the personal computer or the uh, uh, laptop we use uh, at home. So this kind of computer we call it server. So server is something like uh, a smart uh, calculator, okay? So it's different from the computer we use. Uh, mostly is a, a server a server only do the calculations, okay? It store information and do the calculations, uh, send the messages back. And <clears throat> so a server is more powerful than a personal computer. Uh, and it often the server is often owned by the companies. Okay, so the uh, service providers. Okay, then the uh, interaction between uh, regular computers, so the users' computers and the servers, is called the client and server interaction. Okay, so client uh, the client. Uh, often uh, request services to the internet, and the servers will provide services. Okay, and the clients and the ser servers uh, will use internet to communicate. Uh, for example, we uh, uh, we are all clients. Okay, when are using uh, internet because we use smartphones, uh, laptops, or, or the personal computers. Uh, when we want to watch or uh, watch a video on the web page, for example, the, the YouTube app, uh, we send a request to the internet through the app, and then this request is transferred to the server on uh, the server of uh, YouTube. Okay, then the YouTube server will go to uh, it's storage to find the video, and then this video will be displayed on your uh, phone. Okay, that's a simple example of how this client-server interaction uh, happens. Now let's uh, 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 explore how uh, some details about this uh, client-server interaction. So, for example, if you want to uh, see a web page on your uh, device, your computer, or your smartphone, first you need to request a, a service to the web server, right? Because you want to see this web page. And then you first need to know the URL, right? Uh, so you Tapping the URL on your uh, web browser, and you click search or click uh, the go to par, uh, button. Then your computer are sending uh, is sending uh, the this uh, URL to the uh, web server. Uh, so the domain name is is you know we we know that it's a, a name system. Or its address, right? So this kind of address will help the World Wide Web to find the location of the server. Okay, so this uh, these names 
will help the uh, the World Wide Web to to locate the server uh, to look at. So when you type in this URL, this message will be the first uh, first uh, it will find the right web server. Okay, and then this message will be sent to this web server, and this web server. Uh, 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 because this uh, web page is not saved in you know every server on the internet, right? It only belongs to some uh, specific company. So first, you need to find the server uh, uh, of that company, right? So you first need to locate the server, and then uh, this message will be received by the specific server, and uh, then after the server. Uh, received this message it knows that okay this uh, uh, user want to uh, see this page this web page then it will search it uh, search its storage space to find the web page file and uh, then it will send this file back to the internet the information of this page okay this uh, so this file will be uh, send back to internet and uh, uh, it will go to your browser then you can uh, then the browser will uh, translate the file uh, and uh, display the information as a web page on your screen okay uh, uh, a different thing is uh, this web page uh, will be transferred uh, in the internet in another uh, format, okay? Because the file page uh, is too big uh, for us to transfer it on internet. So we will, you know, use a different uh, format. We will transfer first. We will transfer this page file into a different uh, tab or in a different. Uh, uh, shape, uh, you know, and uh, then it becomes smaller and easy to transfer. Then it will be transferred to uh, your computer, and then your computer will uh, convert uh, uh, this format back into the uh, the, the, the the web uh, the web files, the web page files, and then uh, you can see this file on your computer. Okay. So that's the uh, entire uh, cycle of how uh, this interaction happens on the internet. Uh, so the client's request service, right? It could be a web page or also can be a, a request for the video or also, uh, if when you are sending emails, uh, it also follows this interaction <laughs> uh, circle. So, uh, for example, if you want to send send the emails, this email will first go to the also go to the server of the email company, right? If you are using Gmail, this server belongs to uh, Google. Right, so when you are sending emails, your email first go to uh, Google's Google, Gmail server, and then Gmail server will help you to send uh, your email to your uh, receiver. So when you are sending emails, uh, two users is uh, include are, are included, right? Uh, because the uh, the request. Uh, uh, the request uh, contains two users, right? So the sender send the emails to the server, and then the server will send the emails to the receiver, right? <laughs> but uh, uh, it's only a, a, a different example, but the the basic concept is uh, is the same, right? So the clients request a service, and the server provides service. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. 
Okay, uh, now let's uh, continue. Okay, now let's look at uh, the second topic in this lecture, web search engines. So web search engines is a uh, software that allows a user to query the internet and find the information. So uh, these are all different kinds of uh, search engines. For example, Google, <coughs> Yahoo, <coughs> Bing. So these are web pages of uh, different search engines that help you to uh, find the information. So that's what uh, a Google search looks like. So you can type in your uh, uh, information or questions uh, you want to ask. Uh, then you can use uh, Google to search it, search the answers, and search the useful information. So how can these uh, search engines help you to to find the information on, on, on the internet? Okay, so. So now let's uh, look at uh, 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 some details about how Google uh, or other kind of search engines works. Because we know that uh, we have uh, 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 hundreds of thousands uh, different kind of information on the internet. So uh, with such a uh, uh, big amount of in, of internet. How we can you know find some specific uh, information we need uh, on the internet with a uh, fast uh, speed. So um, so scientists uh, invented some uh, programs okay to help us to search for the information on the internet. So now let's look at how a, a search engine works. Okay, let's take Google for example. So uh, first step named uh, crawling. So crawling happens. Uh, uh, so 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 Google search engine always crawling. Uh, so uh, in the on the internet. So it's a work that uh, it will uh, continuously uh, do. So it will not stop crawling. Uh, when you know, uh, if the search engine uh, works, then it is doing the the crawling work. Okay, so it's crawl. The crawl means uh, it saved all the URLs or web pages or links. Uh, it uh, uh, accessed or it uh, or it sees on a web page. Okay, it will uh, down. It will store this link in a list. Okay, so so that's crawling. Uh, what crawling means? And crawling is done by a software named Crawler. Okay, the Crawler is a part of the search engine. So. A software named Crawler uh, begin with a list of URLs. So what the Crawler do is to access different URLs. So URL we know that is different uh, uh, location or the address of web pages, right? Uh, so the Crawler, for example, goes to this web page. Okay. Uh, then crawling a web pages. Crawling means it will uh, uh, go through one uh, uh, line by line. To search for uh, other URLs, okay. For example, these things are links, right? And uh, whenever it notices a URL while crawling a page, it adds the URL to that list if it has not been crawled. Crawled. Uh, crawled. For example, uh, it will go line by line, and when it reach, uh, when it it reach this uh, URL. Uh, and this URL have not been seen before, or uh, uh, it's not added to its list. Then it will add this URL to the list, uh, and it will continue. Okay, so these are not links. After it reach this one, so they try the link, 
and it will also add this if this is not being uh, crowded before it will also add this link to its list okay so that's what the crawler do uh, during uh, crawling so then it will go uh, all the way down to the end of this web page and all of these uh, links will be added to its list okay so then the uh, the list can be used as a source of the uh, the source of the the web pages to search okay so so the first work is you need to have a collection of all the links of all the web web pages okay uh, this collection of web pages is saved on a list right so that, that's uh, so the crawler is like a collector okay so it collect uh, uh, different web pages on the internet okay <clears throat> So if we collect and search for different links beforehand, uh, then it would be faster, okay, for you to search uh, uh, specific web pages, right? Uh, image that if you want to search a page and the uh, and every time the search engine need to go over uh, all the web pages on the internet to search for your uh, 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 for uh, for your request uh, web page, that will take a uh, very long time, right? But if we search beforehand, uh, we first make a collection or use some system to organize these web pages, then it will be more efficient for us uh, to have one specific uh, web page. We will uh, introduce this <coughs> methods. Right. So this method we use is called the index. So index is kind of a system to uh, to tag different uh, web pages. Okay. That would be with different tags. Uh, that would be easier for us to find uh, one relate uh, to find the the relative <coughs> uh, the most. Uh, 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 a related web page, okay, uh, to our requested uh, web page. Okay, so the list uh, in uh, the computer science is called index. Okay, so the list, the crawler, uh, so it's the, the collection of the web pages, right? So it's a list of web pages, right? A list of URLs is called uh, index. Okay, index the list of tokens, tokens, tags, right? Uh, they are the same thing, uh, such as words uh, that are associated with the page. Uh, so here is an example how this, uh, these tokens or tags works. Uh, for example, uh, if this page, this web page, the title of this web page is green at uh, ID, ID uh, cat. The URL is this one. Another uh, web page, the, another URL is this one, is doc.find.com uh, slash bd. And the page title is blacked at doc. So when the crawler uh, reach to this URL, uh, it will add this URL to uh, these three uh, tokens, okay, green and cat. For example, uh, now uh, in this index, okay, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five different tokens or different words, right? Uh, tokens, text, words, you can uh, use the, the, the word that you like to describe uh, these things, but uh, so these are only, you know, the uh, the groups, the name of the groups, uh, we need to uh, separate or uh, distinguish different uh, web website URLs, right? So, for example, if this the title of this page is Green Eye 
cat. Then we have can find uh, cat here, right? Add here, a green here. And this URL will be added to each of these uh, uh, tag, different tags. So cat, here we will add this URL to cat. And we'll also add this URL to add, and also this URL to green. Because the title is green at cat, that means this URL related to green, and also it's related to add, and also it's related to cat. Right, so under uh, so we'll add this uh, to uh, to all three uh, uh, <coughs> tokens. Okay. Now uh, the token cat has a URL of this, and I also has a URL of this. And green and the green tag, uh, uh, we added this uh, URL to to green. Okay, you know, uh, you can imagine that after we, uh, after crawler crawling hundreds of thousands of pages, uh, the list uh, could be very long, right? So, uh, so under the cat uh, token, it will have a long list that uh, contains uh, contains websites related to cat, right? And next, when the crawler goes to this URL, uh, and the title is black add dog, it will add this URL to uh, all the three tokens. Okay, so then black will have a uh, URL named this, and the dog will have a URL, uh, this the same one, will add this URL to dog, under dog token. And also add will have one more uh, URL because uh, this uh, this URL also relate to add <clears throat> will relate to add right so I uh, will also have this uh, URL and if the crawler says uh, one more uh, URL. Uh, relate to these tokens, it will add this URL to the related tokens. And if it reach the new token, it will uh, add a new token here, right? So the the list will uh, be uh, longer and longer. So that's uh, the, the, the system of how the index works. And after we create the index, the next thing is uh, query processing. Okay, so query processing is the most important uh, part of uh, uh, the most important work of search engines, right? Because it needs to return the the related web pages, a uh, related answers for our uh, question or. Uh, search the information, right? Uh, uh, recall that uh, when you are using uh, Google to search something, it will return to you uh, pages of uh, related uh, links, right? Related web pages. So how it can uh, find these web pages? So it will look at uh, your uh, question or your uh, typed in words to, uh, into uh, uh, you know it will first uh, look at the the words you are searching, and then it will search in the index to find the related words, and then return the related uh, web pages. So the steps are, uh, uh, for example, when you are search uh, strawberry ice cream, right? Uh, these these are uh, three words, right? The the search engine, the processor. Uh, so now the software is called a uh, query processor. Okay, it's uh, another tool of uh, search engine. So processor will look them up in the index, right? So if you tapped in, you want to search strawberry ice cream uh, on, on, on Google. You tapped in three words. 
uh, then the processor start to search for links related to strawberry ice cream. So what it do is it start from the first word. Okay, the first one is called token one, strawberry. It will uh, go to the token strawberry. Remember we have created a, a, a in the index, right? The list, uh, the list consists of different tokens and uh, the and uh, all the web pages crawled uh, crawled by the crawler, uh, which are related to this token, right? So under each token, it will have a long list of uh, links related to this token, right? So first token one is strawberry, then the processor will uh, first go to strawberry, the, the row of strawberry, and uh, find the first, remember, find the first uh, web page, okay? So now the processor knows that at least this web page is related to strawberry, right? <clears throat> so then after it finds the first uh, web page of the first token, it will go to the next token, okay? It will go to the S and try to uh, uh, and go through uh, the URL under S uh, uh, one by one, okay? It will uh, go over it, the, the links one by one to see if there exists one link is the same as uh, the first one in Strawberry, right? Because now we know that this uh, this link, this www, uh, www.ss, uh, dot, dot, dot. Uh, this kind of uh, <coughs> this URL is at least related to strawberry, right? Then it will find uh, it will uh, try to uh, see if this URL also related to S uh, uh, ice, right? Uh, <coughs> that means uh, if this URL is also related to ice, that means uh, we we could find this. Uh, URL under this token, right? Under the second token, ICE. So, uh, so, so the processor will search uh, links in token ICE, okay? Go one by one to see if we have uh, the same one as, uh, uh, as the first one, right? So it will go over one by one. Then it will find this www.ss. So then uh, that means this uh, URL is related to strawberry and at the same time related to, to ice. Then it will uh, continue to do the same work to the cream, the token three, and it will uh, also uh, go over uh, the links one by one to find the same link as www.ss, okay? So here, this example, the first one is, is the same uh, URL uh, we have here. Then this web link is uh, the, uh, the web link we want to find, right, because it's uh, related to all of these three uh, tokens, okay? It's related to strawberry, it's related to, to ice, it's related to cream, and this is the link we want to find. Now we have uh, uh, we have found the, uh, the first link, and the work is not done because uh, Google always return uh, multiple links to us, right? Uh, 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 hundreds of links. So after it finds the first link, uh, this web link will be stored, and then the processor will go back to token one. Okay, because we only uh, uh, search the first link, right? Uh, the the processor will go back to strawberry, and uh, go to the second link here. And for the second link, it will do the same thing, okay? It will 
search the same link under token two eyes, and uh, then it will search. Uh, after it search the same link, it will uh, uh, go to token three and find the same link. So if the link is under all of three tokens, then it's another link we want to find, right? So that's the second link, uh, and we add this link uh, to the to the return list, okay? To the answer list. Uh, But the one question is, when the processor is, is doing the, the search, the searching works, it, will, it may uh, uh, encounter a situation that there's no uh, web, uh, no links, for example, under the uh, token two uh, that is same as a, as, a, as a link we, we found in, in token one. Right. For example, uh, if the second link, uh, so we uh, now we go to the second link, and we search links under uh, token two, and we cannot find the the same link as the second one. Okay, so that means this link is not related to to uh, to uh, to eyes. Then we abandon this uh, link. So we go to uh, next link, clear? Because this link is not the link we, we need, right? Because it's not really to, to eyes. So we uh, go to next link and uh, do the same thing again. This, this, this situation can happen uh, 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 in uh, each step. For example, if we, uh, do have one uh, uh, link, we have one same link with the second one, uh, and then we go to token three, but in token three, we cannot find uh, the same link. Then that means this link is only related to strawberry and uh, ice, but it's not really to cream. So, that, so then this link is also not, uh, not the uh, uh, the thing we want, right? So we uh, abandon this link and uh, do everything again. Okay, so we uh, abandon this link and go to next link in token one. Okay, uh, any questions about how this processor, the, the, the query processor works? The basic thing is uh, we have two uh, loops here, right? So the first loop is we go from token one to token two to token three, right? And the second loop is we will go over every uh, links in under token one and every links under token two and every links under token three to find the uh, right link, right? So the first we uh, search links in token one with from the first one, right? And we start with the first one, then we go to token two and uh, search all the links under token two. And we find the same link, then we go to token three and find uh, the same link in token three. Then we go back to uh, token one, okay? We have done this uh, token one to token two to token three loop. Then we go to uh, uh, we go back to token one, and uh, and uh, uh, and we go to the second link and do the same thing, right? And then we go to the third link. We back to token one and go to the third link and do the same thing. And after the uh, the processor have go over all the links in token one. Uh, then we have the our uh, final link list, right? So the 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 final link the link list 
we have will be the link list of web pages that are related to uh, to all, all these three tokens, right? Okay. Okay. So the things is like uh, we can uh, simplify the model like this. So the user uh, create create a question to Google server, then the Google server uh, will receive the request and uh, it will send the request to index server. So the index server has the, the crawler, the query processor uh, software, and the, this software will help you to, uh, to, to uh, search the useful links and return the list of the related links to you. Okay, so that's how this uh, uh, <coughs> uh, search engine works. Okay. Uh, any questions? Okay, good. Okay, another, uh, the, the last topic of this uh, search engine is uh, advanced search. So advanced search means we can uh, modify the, uh, the request words, okay, use this and or not uh, this uh, connections to modify to modify our uh, uh, searches. So and as default, uh, and means uh, we need uh, all of these all of the links that are related to all of the tokens, right? So uh, so if we tap in strawberry ice cream, uh, it equals to strawberry and as uh, ice and uh, cream, right? Uh, we can also use plus symbol, okay? So plus symbol uh, means the same thing. If we tap in strawberry plus uh, ice plus uh, cream, it's the same thing as we tap in uh, strawberry ice cream, okay? But we, if we use or to connect these words, we will have single uh, results. Okay, so if we tap in strawberry or ice or cream, it will give us uh, only strawberries or only uh, ice, only cream, but not uh, strawberry ice cream, uh, uh, but not this kind of uh, uh, thing. We can uh, have a test here, okay? We can use uh, Google to search uh, strawberry, okay, strawberry as cream. Images, uh, here, see? If we tap in strawberry uh, as cream, the results we have are all images. You know, uh, I say these links about uh, strawberry as cream. But if we use, uh, uh, we also try plus here, right? And try plus. And it will give us the same thing here, right? Uh, the strawberry ice cream, right? If we use or, We will not only have, you know, you say strawberry uh, ice cream, but other kind of uh, things. So because we are using or, so or means uh, either this one or this one. Okay, so some links only related to S, uh, related to ice also uh, appears here, right? Here like chocolate uh, strawberry. So that's a little different from uh, we search with strawberry ice cream. 
uh, and we also can use not okay so not uh, is uh, it seems like we search this thing except uh, something okay so we can also use minus here uh, so minus uh, works the same as not uh, so here I give an example if we search Apple minus iPhone so this same will give us a lot of results of a real apple okay so we can try if we search apple on google uh it will give us some real apple but also the the logo of the apple company here right and if we search apple iphone it will only give us uh iphones right because we are uh, uh, we are searching for links that relate to uh, Apple iPhone, right? So, so, so that's a very specific uh, search that will return to us only links related to iPhone. But if we add a minus, add a minus before iPhone, that means we are searching for this Apple token, but we don't want any links that relate to iPhone. Okay, then this search will give us uh, see examples of only uh, real apples, but no iPhones here, right? These are these are ads, right? So these results we only have uh, the only thing we get is a, a, a Apple uh, a, a logo, right? But uh, these logos are not related to to iPhone. So 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 they uh, occurred here, right? Because they are only related to Apple, right? And also we got some real Apple here. So we use a minus, and the minus means except this one, right? So that's uh, uh, some uh, modification we can do. Uh, to uh, to search exactly uh, what we uh, want uh, uh, when using the search engine. So the search will be much more uh, accurate, okay, when you uh, use such uh, uh, connections like minus, plus, uh, and or not so these things to to modify your your search the searches okay uh, any questions okay good uh, I think we still have some time left uh, we can look at our uh, homework I will uh, explain a little Okay, so the so, so the homework two we have uh, six questions. So first in uh, is related to advanced searches. So in advanced searches we can use uh, the logical operators, query uh, tiger and uh, not baseball. We'll find the pages that is. So uh, so not we just explain that not means except. Okay, except this one. So this search uh, or this query means that we want to find some links related to Tiger, but not related to baseball, right? Say so and and is something is a default uh, 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 the operator, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the logical operator. So this and or not. So this connections uh, is called logical operator, okay? Uh, so that's the name of these uh, things. And uh, so this query means tiger, right? Uh, the links relate to tiger, but not related to baseball, okay? Based on this, uh, you can find the, the right answer. 
The second one, is there any way to find who owns a web page? Let's say that web page where we uh, uh, learned that web page belongs to the servers, right? The servers belong to some companies, right? Then it's very easy for you to choose the right answer. And three, who invented www and the when? We have also talked about this uh, at the beginning of this lecture. Uh, the fourth question, what does URL stand for? Uh, I already gave you the answer here. The fifth question, during query procession, procession uh, user gave a uh, query processor two search tokens. We know that the index list token one has five URL links and token two has 10 URL links. So how many times uh, in the worst situation the processor need to check before the processor can output all the URL links that belong to both token one and token two. Explain your answer. So I need to uh, to explain about the, the worst situation, right? Uh, so, so the question is, uh, now we are querying uh, uh, two tokens, right? Two search tokens. And we already know the index list Token one has five URL links, and token two has 10 URL links. And the question is how many times the processor need to check under the worst situation. The worst situation, that means the biggest, the, 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 the biggest, uh, uh, not the biggest, uh, the, the largest uh, number of times the processor need to check before it can output all the links, right? So let's say, uh, let's say, uh, put the question under this situation, okay? So now we know that token one have five, right? Have five, uh, five uh, links here. The token two have 10 links. Right. So, what will be the the best situation? Okay, uh, you can try to think about this. The best situation means uh, the fast uh, in a very short time the processor have found the links related to strawberry and uh, ice here. Uh, token one, token two. Okay, what will be the, the best situation? That means uh, you the processor uses a very short time and it finds the, uh, the right link. Mm, I don't want to know the answer. Mm. Oh, your homework. Uh, I will show you where you. Uh, you go to contents here, and then you submit your homework, right? So your homework, uh, you click here and uh, uh, you upload your homeworks, then you click submit. Uh, so homework two, I didn't upload it right now. I will upload it uh, under uh, after this lecture, okay? Okay, now let's uh, continue the, the question. So, uh, so the, 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 the best, the best uh, situation will be uh, 
the strawberry, uh, sorry, the token one list is the same as token two list at the first uh, place. Okay, so because token one have five tokens, token two have 10 tokens. So the best situation will be the 10 tokens in, uh, the sorry, the 10 links in token two is, uh, uh, the first five is exactly the same as the five links in, in token one. Okay, that's why we can, uh, that's how we uh, we can have uh, we will have the best situation. Uh, for example, the first one is uh, is same as the first one in token two. So when the processor goes to the first one first link, then it go to the uh, the first link of token two. Then it finds the same one. Okay, because the first one is same as this one. So it finds the the first link. It, it don't need to go to you know the remaining links because it already finds the 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 link. Then it will go to the second one, right? And because the first one is already uh, searched, then the processor will ignore this one and it will go from the uh, remaining links, right? Uh, yeah. Another thing is is here after this link. Uh, is picked, then it will be removed from the the list. So the processor will ignore the the link which has already been added to the to the return list. Okay. So if the first five links of token two is exactly the same as token one, then the processor will only check. Uh, uh, so for token one, it will check five times, right? So check first one, then uh, check the first one in token two. So two times. And then it will go to second uh, link in token one, uh, check the third time. And then token two, the fourth time, right? The second link uh, is the uh, same as the second link in token one, and then it got the second related link so uh, four times uh, so checked four times right and then it go to the third link right and uh, 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 and the check time will be six right so after it checked all five links and uh, uh, the total check time will be 10 times, right? So the best situation will be 10 times. Because if we don't, uh, uh, another situation is if we do not have a same link uh, in token two, the processor will go through every link here to find the same uh, links. For example, if the fifth link if the fifth link in token one uh, is different from the fifth link in token two, uh, then the processor will go to, uh, to uh, will go to link uh, six and link seven to to see if we have the same link uh, as uh, link five. Then the check time will be uh, will be more than uh, ten times. Okay, so the best time will be ten times. But what it will be the worst time? So the worst time, the situation will be we need to go over every link here. Okay. So the situation is none of these links is the same as the first one. So we check ten times for the first link, and for second link. We also checked 10 times and we didn't find anything, we didn't find the link. And uh, for third one, we also checked 10 times, okay? Because we have five links here and each link we checked 10 times and we found nothing. So that will be the worst situation. And then the total check time will be, uh, anyone know, know the answer? So we have five links here, 
and uh, for each links, uh, we need to check uh, 10 times. Right. Uh, remember, we also need to check uh, five times uh, under token one. So the answer will be 50 plus uh, five. So it's 55 because uh, here we checked 50 times, right? So each time uh, here uh, we check 10 times under a uh, token two, but uh, first we need to check uh, the token one, right? So it's like one uh, plus 10 each time and the one plus 10 uh, the second time. So we have uh, five times. So it will be five multiplied by 11. So it's 55 times. So the answer of the question will be 55. So that is the worst situation. Okay. Uh, Yeah, uh, okay, so the, I can, uh, let's uh, uh, repeat the, the thing. So the, uh, the worst situation, first we need to clear the worst situation is that uh, we, uh, the most, uh, uh, you know, the largest uh, uh, check times we can have, uh, uh, to find the links, right? That will be the worst situation because uh, if we need to check uh, more times, then uh, we need to uh, spend a lot of, uh, 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 so, so the shared search work will be slow, right? Because we need to check multiple times. So the worst case will be the largest time we need to check. Right, that way is the worst situation. The worst situation will be uh, the situation that we checked the largest time to find the uh, uh, to find the right link, right? So for the first one, what it will be the uh, the largest uh, number that we checked to find the red link. Right, right, because we have 10 uh, links here. So the largest time uh, we need to check uh, is 10 times, right, for uh, token two. And uh, we didn't find the links because if we find the red link, this link will be removed, right? And uh, we'll, uh, when it is removed, when we go to the second one, now we only have nine tokens here, right? So if we go to the second one under token one, uh, we only need to check nine times to find if there is the, uh, the, the same link. Okay, so that will be, not be the worst situation because nine times is smaller than 10 times. Right. So, uh, so the question is, we need to find the worst case. So the worst case will be uh, 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 will be uh, the, the the largest the check time we uh, we will do we will do to find the link. So the largest time we do not find the link under token two. So we uh, don't remove. Uh, anything from token two. So token two will always be 10 links, right? So when, so when we go to next uh, link here, we also need to check 10 times. Okay, so another 10 times here. And we didn't find anything. So we don't remove anything from token two. So token two remains to be 10 links. And then we, uh, after uh, we, uh, we didn't find the link, then we go back to token one and uh, go to the third link and do the same thing. For the third link, uh, 
we also uh, cannot find the same link and we check all 10 links so now we uh, so so for each link we always check 10 times okay and uh, for each link we check one time and uh, in token 2 we check 10 times so the check time for first link will be here is 1 and here is 10 so it's 11 times and in token 1 we have 5 links so the total check time will be 5 multiplied by 11 uh, equals to 55 mm, it's clear now Because in the worst case, uh, we need to do the largest check time, okay? Uh, so we cannot, uh, so in this, the, the worst situation, we cannot find the same link. Because if we find the same link, then we will not check this link anymore, okay? So the check time will be uh, uh, smaller, okay? So uh, so the in the worst situation, uh, the thing is we cannot find the same uh, a web link, okay? So that's uh, why we need to, every time we need to check 10 times here. Uh, it's clear. Okay. Uh, you have nothing for content announcement. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have give you another example. Uh, I have no idea why you cannot see the uh, the content part. So uh, basically, the assignment will show under the content. Uh, here. If you can access this uh, Collaborate Ultra, I, I mean this uh, lecture, that means you can access to the the, the Blackboard. Uh, maybe you, you need to ask the, uh, the register office about this situation. Okay, so you cannot access the, uh, the content in Blackboard, okay. Okay, let's, uh, uh, let me give you a, a symbol uh, example here. Let me see if I can uh, use the uh, Control some. Okay, let me. Uh, for example, uh, if we have uh, you know, the uh, token one, token two. If we only have one uh, link in token one, for example, if we have only one link here, and we have uh, two link in token two. Okay, the two link will be here and here. Okay, so the uh, best situation will be we check one time for token one, right? Check one time, we got this link. And when we are checking token two, the first one is the same as the, uh, the first one. Uh, so the first one of token two is the same as the first one of token one. So when we only check two times, right, and we find uh, the link, and we are done because we only have one link in uh, token one. So the best uh, situation is two times, right? But in this uh, in this example, the the worst situation will be. Uh, 
We check one time in token one, and we always check two times in token two. That will give us the worst situation, uh, mean, uh, which means the, the largest check time uh, we can get, right? So we always check, uh, uh, we always check every link under token two, and we remove uh, no link from token two. So uh, we always check two times, right? But token one only have one link, so we check one time in one link, and uh, we check two times in two uh, in, in, in sorry in, in token one, and we check two times in token two. And the worst case will be one plus two is three. Okay, so that's this example. And if we have, uh, let me, if we have, uh, let me see, two links in token one, okay, and two links in token two, the best situation will be we check token one for one time, and then the first one is same as this one, and we only check one time in token two. Okay, so the best situation is we only need to check one time in token two, and we find the, the right link, then we stop, right? So that will give us the best situation. We check uh, one time in token one, and one time in token two. So that will be the smallest check time for us, right? So this one will be two. And uh, remember that after we find the right link, we will remove this link. Okay, we will remove this link away. And uh, then we go to the next link. And we check one time for the next link and uh, one time for, for this link. And we find the right link. So this, uh, so now the check time will be two times. Okay, so for this situation, uh, for this example, the best situation will be four times. Uh, yeah, four times, right? But for the worst situation, Because we don't need to recheck the first link, right? Uh, the first link in the uh, in this situation, uh, we have found that this link is, related, uh, is the same as this link, right? So our uh, uh, processor, our query processor, have got, uh, for example, I give you. Uh, for example, uh, this link is W A. Okay, it's W A, and uh, the processor knows that the W A is linked to token one, token two. It's related to token one, token two, right? So W A is already added to uh, our uh, the final list. Okay, the list it will return to us, right? So WA, it already knows that WA is uh, the link we want to find. So remove will, will reduce the check time because the next time we don't need to check WA again. If we do not remove WA, uh, uh, say here, when, uh, if we do not remove WA, uh, we go to next, right? We go to next link and then the processor will check we will we'll check again WA, but we already know that WA is uh, definitely uh, not same as the second one because it's same as the first one, right? So we, there's no need we check uh, uh, one more time for WA, right? So it will waste our time, right? So that's how processor uh, work. If it find a uh, uh, related link, it will remove it from uh, the token because 
because if it remains in the token, the processor will check it every time it saw the the link. Okay, that will waste a lot of time. Mm. It is clear uh, why we remove uh, the first link. Because we already know that this link is same as the first one. Uh, uh, then it means it will be different from uh, from uh, every link, uh, uh, the remaining link under token one, right? So we don't need uh, so we don't need to check it uh, uh, in the future because we already know that it's different from uh, the other links in token one. Then we don't need to check uh, if it's same uh, with. Uh, the other links. So we just remove it from the token. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, if we have a three token here, okay. Uh, and we don't remove, I can, I can write down the, uh, everything here. If we don't remove the first, if the, the links we find, you can see that the check time will be be more. Uh, uh, let's check, let's check, okay. Uh, so this situation is we do not remove the link we got and uh, uh, for the best, for the best situation, okay. Remember the best situation. Best situation will be uh, we have the the same link, same link list in token two and the, the same link list in token one, right? So that will be the small list check time we can have. Uh, but in this situation, we do not remove the link list we uh, we have found. So for the best situation, we check first link in token one, and the second link, uh, sorry, the, the uh, when we go to token two, we also check the first link, and we found the same link, right? This time we checked two times, and the WA is the same link, and then we go to next link, right? We go to this link, but uh, uh, this time, uh, this, the second link is the same as the second link, right? But for the processor, it will go from the first one to the last one to find the uh, the right link. So this time, it will check here for one time, and then it will check WA another time, and then it will check the second one here. So the total time here will be three times, okay? Uh, and for the uh, and we do not remove this right. Uh, after we have found the second link, we will go to a uh, uh, third link under token one. So for third link, we will also uh, start from here. Okay, we we'll start from uh, the first link. It's not the same, and second link not the same. Uh, a third link, uh, it's the same. So we found the same link for the third link. And the check time is one here, one here, one here, one here. So the total time is four times, right? And uh, so the uh, total time will be uh, nine times for the best situation if we do not remove the uh, we do not remove the 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 the, the cracked links, right? But if we remove the cracked links, uh, I can write it here. T one, T two. For the first time, the first link. If we found uh, the second link, the third link, I will only use this. Uh, 
because we do not have enough space. Okay, so after we reach the first link, we have two, we check two times, right? And we remove this link. So now the token two only have two lists and token one only have two lists. Okay, then we check the second one. We check the second one because we have removed the first one, so we only start from the second one. Well, what do you mean uh, remove when it uh, worse uh, consideration? Uh, uh, because you, because the best situation we need to have, uh, 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 what you, so because remove is, uh, is a uh, is a thing that uh, uh, that the processor have to do. You know the programmer have uh, so it's uh, it's a basic thing that the processor need to do. The processor need to remove because uh, this is a, a, a more uh, efficient way to to do this this work. Okay, so the best in the best situation. Uh, uh, so here I'm all, only explain why we need to remove the link we have found. Okay, so you see here, if we remove the first link, then we only need to check two times for the second one. And we remove the second one, and we only check two times for the third one. So, so if we remove the, uh, uh, the link we have found, we only need to check six times. If we don't remove the link, we need to check nine times. Okay, so both of this is the best situation. The best situation is we have the, the same links, okay, under token two and token one. But the one we remove the links, we only need to check six times. But we don't remove the links, we need to check nine times. So that's why we remove the links. Uh, but in the worst case, why we do not rem the, remove the link because we don't find the right link. Okay, so here uh, uh, it's clear why we uh, remove the link. In the worst, in the worst case, uh, in the worst case, we didn't remove the, the links because we didn't find the, the right uh, links. Because in the worst case, this one is not the same as the first one. It's uh, different. So in the worst case, this one could be WS, right? So it's different from the first one, so we don't remove it. And uh, that will be the worst case. Okay. I can uh, 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 I can use an email to 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 explain this. Okay. Uh, if you still have uh, questions. Uh, okay. Okay. No problem. And the way. Uh, can look at the last last one. Let's see. Uh, I can close this. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you hear? Can you hear me now? Okay, that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me share my screen now. Hold on a second. Okay. 
Okay, can you see my screen now? <clears throat> Let's look at the last one. So the last one is uh, if you want to write a paper about Apple company, uh, what website or search engines you want to use to help your writing, uh, list three websites or search engines and explain why you uh, choose. So it's an a, a open question. So you uh, can write three websites and search engines for this. Uh, okay, I think that's all for today's lecture. Uh, so as I explained in our first uh, class, uh, so the remaining one hour is for you to work on the homeworks. Uh, uh, I will upload the homeworks to Blackboard uh, right after the uh, I close the, the lecture. So I think that's all for today's uh, content. Uh, so any questions about uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I think. Uh, I think if you don't have, uh, do not have questions, uh, you can. Uh, you are free to leave and uh, work on the homeworks. So now let me uh, upload the, the homework on Blackboard. Okay. Uh, let me do this homework. Uh, then you can download the homework and uh, uh, remember the, the homework is due uh, before next Friday. Okay. And if you, if you have any questions, you can send me emails. Homework two. Okay, homework two. Okay, the deal time will be September 17.1. Okay, okay, it has been uploaded. Uh, you can download and uh, work on it. Uh, you too, you too, have a good weekend. Thank you, thank you all. I have uh, already uploaded the, the, the homework, so you can uh, use the remaining time to work on the homework. Okay, I will uh, see you uh, next week. Yes, yes, the homework has been already uh, uploaded to Blackboard, so you can find it uh, in content on Blackboard. Uh, the homework too is due next uh, Friday. It's the same thing as I explained uh, 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 in the class, so that will be very simple for you to, to work. No problem. Okay, so uh, we will stop uh, here. Uh, I will close the, the lecture. Have a good weekend, everyone.
Uh, I will see you uh, next week. <clears throat> okay, okay, bye.